In this video, we'll be assembling and installing a leg kit that comes with the Wazer water jet. Everything in this machine came really nicely packaged, and these legs each have their own spots where they need to be. We'll pull everything out and get it unwrapped. These leg pieces seem to be really well built. Looks not quite an eighth inch wall all the way around, which is pretty good, and they feel they feel good because I mean these got to hold up a pretty good amount of weight. So seems like they're built nice. I'm a big fan of the manual. All the pictures are in color so you can easily see what everything is and it's very clear and telling you what to do. We'll set it up on a platform so we have room to install both legs. Now that it's up off the ground we can start to remove these bottom pieces. Once you remove this cover here you have a lot better access to a lot of the electronics and bolts on the inside. There's two set screws holding on the bottom part of the leg. To make it a little bit easier to reach I'm going to take out this plug and remove the two set screws. And here's that set screw. And the same thing on the other side. And pull it off. The bottom here has rubber feet, which is nice. It'll take up some of the vibration. These legs go on sort of like extensions here, and you want those two threaded holes to be lined up where we can put set screws. Snug them up. And on the other side, these aluminum brackets fit right on there with set screws to secure it. There's markings here whenever you put them in. You want to put side A in, which is the longer side, so the shorter side is the one sticking up. Let's go ahead and put it in place. Just line it up and put it in. And we'll put in those set screws. Same to the other side. And we'll reinstall that plug. You can see that one side is now extended, and I love the design that it just looks like it flows like a ring all the way through. It, I really like how it's integrated into the design of the machine. It's gonna be the same process for the other side. The only thing that's different is the door that comes off. Instead of having to pull this door off, it's on bearings, and these are where your hoppers are. Behind the hoppers here, there's some cool looking water blocks. It's like a completely clear piece of acrylic so you can see what's going on inside of them. Now, just like a regular drawer, this can lift up and out because there are some screws behind it. Right there is the one set screw we need to remove that I wasn't able to reach. There it is. Just remove this side. I'll just set the drawer back in place so we don't have to worry about hanging those wires. This process is going to be exactly the same as the other side. With everything tightened up, we'll go ahead and put the drawer back in. We'll lift it from the bottom hoops and take it to the ground. We'll get this close to where we're going to be installing it, which is right where that water supply is. This looks to be a really nice height and seems to be really stable. And then also once we put in that middle plate there, it'll gain more stability. One thing to note if you're planning on getting this machine is on the left side, this is where your hoppers are. So you need to have room to open this drawer. It can't have like a cabinet on this side. Now we'll add the material rack. From behind, just screw it in. So far the assembly experience has been great. The fit and finish of everything is just great. American made, everything fits together really well. We'll slide this under the machine. I'm installing the screws on the bottom row so everything is at its lowest position. And I'll add in the second set of screws. So that's how you assemble and put together the stand on a Wacer water jet. I'm a big fan of the design and I can't wait to start cutting some parts on it. 